G'day trendsetters. Not too long ago, I posted my review of the original Psych Plus, that's C-Y-C-P-L-U-S, AS2 mini electric bike pump. If you happen to miss that review, it's linked on screen or in the description box below. Long story short, this pump is a very tiny compressor type pump, so it can therefore inflate your tires rapidly versus blowing a ton of energy with a mini pump standing by the side of the road looking pretty silly. Jeff is inflating a tire, not the other activity. The funny thing is that review triggered a bunch of haters. <laughs> Get on with your lives. But over 99% of the viewers who caught that video loved that product and therefore Psych Plus decided to send to me the AS2 Pro and the AS2 Pro Max. They are larger versions of the original AS2 pump but with a few more very handy features. So without dribbling on too much, let's crack open these boxes, see what's inside and conduct a quick review of both of these super handy pumps. Here's the AS2 Pro box and some of the features on the back. There inside its silicone case is the Psych Plus AS2 Pro. You get the manual and this little package here, let's Now it's time to rotate this for your viewing pleasure. There is where you would insert your valve, etc. And this device supports Presta or Schrader. I'll loosen off this nut here and basically switch around the order of a couple of parts and away you go. And there is the micro USB-C connector for charging. You have an LED screen that shows the battery gauge and pressure, and there are three buttons. One is basically to turn the device on and off and start and stop, and these other two buttons here, they set the target pressure. Right, let's turn it on for your benefit. Might be a little bit hard to see in this light. Target pressure. You just up and down like that. And tapping the top button again will actually kick off the inflation process. I'll press it for one second so you can hear how it sounds. Okay, enough of that. Incidentally, this slightly bigger size of the AS2 Pro is about five millimeters larger than the original AS2. And according to Cyplus, takes about 50 seconds to reach 80 PSI for a Roadie size tire, which is 700 C by 25 is the usual standard, and it can reach a max pressure of 120 PSI. Battery inside charges in about 30 minutes. On the gram scale, the AS2 Pro comes in at 137.5 grams. For the size of tire I'm interested in, namely 700 C by 45 millimeter, According to Psych Plus, I should get six inflations on one charge, and inflation will take about 30 seconds to reach 30 PSI. I think it's time to demonstrate that. Challenge Gravine, 700C by 40 millimeter tire, completely devoid of any oxygen. This is a tire I have reviewed. It's a mud specific tire, linked in the description below or on screen. Reynolds ATR carbon rim. We're going to use the AS2 Pro to inflate this tire to 30 psi. First thing we do, the top button, hold it down until the screen turns on, and there we see the target pressure, which is 34 psi. I want to lower that just a bit. So I'll push the button at the bottom, 30. There you can see the battery gauge, etc. And I'll change the orientation so we can show this a bit better. All right, we'll push the top button again, which will kick off the inflation. It's gonna get a bit noisy. There we go, 30 PSI. Oh yeah, that is hard as a proverbial rock. Still a ton of juice left on the battery. 
If you have an even greater need for more inflation power, there is the AS2 Pro Max. Apparently a 29 by 2.2 inch mountain bike tire can be inflated seven times with this particular unit. It packs all of the same features as the AS2 Pro I just showed you. Compatibility for Presta and Schrada, the same LED screen, the same buttons, etc. for setting your target pressure. On the gram scale, the AS2 Pro Max comes in at 232 grams. Don't forget, that weight also includes the silicone housing. The Psych Plus AS2 Pro Max. Panorama Gravel King X1, 700C by 45 millimeter. Another tire I have reviewed. You can check it out linked in the description below and on screen. You can see it's completely empty. It is still in the bead though. It's mounted up to a DT Swiss GRC 1100. Hold down the top button. Okay, 25 PSI is quite a bit for this tire. We are actually gonna overinflate just a bit. We'll tell it to go to 30. Press onto the valve and press the top button again to begin the inflation process. Beautiful. Tire is hard as a rock, actually. Same tire for this next test. This time we're going to overinflate to 40 psi. Set the target pressure into the valve, and then push the top button to begin the inflation process. PSI. Beautiful. Still plenty of battery left. I firmly believe the Psych Plus AS2 Pro and AS2 Pro Max are really nice bits of kit that you should think about including in your emergency supply stash on your bicycle. Nothing worse than trying to inflate a tire by the side of the road and this can definitely save some hassles. Now with that said, this does not have the air volume to take a tubeless tire that has broken its bead and then pop back into the beads and make tubeless once again. However, both units have more than enough juice, so to speak, to inflate a tube inside a tubeless tire and you could over inflate if you needed to get the tire to pop into the bead and finish the rest of your ride. Naturally, if you need to top up a tubeless tire whilst out during a ride, either of these pumps will handle that situation. No worries whatsoever. Another good point, nowadays it's illegal to fly CO2 cartridges. So throw one of these into your carry-on, solves that problem and no CO2 cartridges to worry about messing up. Wrapping up, so no matter if you're into gravel cycling, gravel racing, bike packing, slack packing, or just riding about the countryside, having a nice time, check out these fantastic Psych Plus pumps. They are linked on screen or in the description box below via my Amazon affiliation purchase link. So there you have it, trendsetters. My review of the latest well, hello Tuesday. Psych Plus, AS2 Pro and AS2 Pro Max pumps. As always, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the Gravel Cycles YouTube channel for real world, no bullshit product reviews such as this one. Real world, no bullshit gravel bike reviews, ride experience videos, and my favorite, general madness. Come here, lad. Come here. Hey, go home then, you silly bugger. As all of it is released to the channel, I'll see you in the next video.